In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and manage dates in Tableau. Let's go. All right, this video comes from Osama Khalid. And the question is, I have three fields, days, months, and years, and I want to create a single field for date. How can I do this? Um, also said, nice tip, highly appreciated. So thank you very much, Osama. So happy to answer that question. Dates in whatever program you do in multiple programs, it can become a nightmare. So I'm going to show you step by step, not just how to create it, but some tricks here and there of the, the types of data you'll come across and how to solve it. So let's look into the data set. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial, uh, just click on the description, a uh, link in the description below and there's the data set is there. Okay, so it's a very simple data set. You've got year, month and day. Sometimes month is in number, sometimes it's in, you know, a word. I'll show you how to deal with that either case. This day is just to show that you've actually converted it correctly. So it's more of a check for practicing. So there's about 200 rows of data in this. So I'm going to go and load it up. So let's minimize this. Make downloads. Let's bring in date fields. Okay, so we're going to load it up here. And the first thing I notice is, I mean, the year is going to load up as a number and the day is going to load up as a number. If you are pulling from a database that's structured, that's most likely what's going to happen. But just make sure that it's not a string or anything like that. If it's a string, you're, there's probably trailing spaces, you know, extra white spaces or something from the delimiting. So if you have something like that, and you don't know how to deal with it, just drop a comment and I'll do a video on that. But for the time being, these ones have loaded correctly. The problem is this one. So I'll show you how to actually fix this month part right here. So let's get into Tableau. I'm going to go sheet two. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm going to start with what the ultimate goal is, which is basically to create a consolidated formula of these three fields. So I'm going to right click here, go create calculated field. Let's bring this over. And here on the kind of the help, and if you can't see this, it's just this little button right here. So you click on that, open that up. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to type date and it's this first one right here. And this is the rule. You go date, quotation mark, whatever the date is, and then close quotation mark. The problem with this is this particular example is if you just type it in. But, you know, like your problem, Osama, how do you do it if you have fields already? You can't just type it in and I'll show you why that's a problem. First, what we're going to have to do is convert it into numerical for the month because the month is in words. I'll show you how to convert that. So let's close this. Let's go into month. Now, some of you may think, oh, uh, why don't I just get clever and use aliases for um, to change these to a number, you know, like four, eight, and so on, and then convert it to a number. So it turns out that doesn't work. I just tried it before. So I think the best way to go about it is to use the uh, case function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here into month word, right click, create calculated field. Here we go. So let's do the case function. I'm going to call this um, clean month. Okay. And so with the case function, we're going to go case, then whatever the variable that we're looking at is, which is month word, and then we're going to set up our conditions. So you can do the same thing with an else if function, but <clears throat> case functions are just so much cleaner uh, to do. So the first one is when it's equal to January, then I want you to write the number one and we're not putting this in quotes and the reason is if you put it in quotes it's going to output a string we need it to output a word so we just leave it like so then what i'm going to do is i need to do this 12 times for each of the months so i'm going to hold shift press up control c to copy it and then paste 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 paste, paste. till i got 12 i think i have like 14 there or something like that all right, and let's start filling this out. So February, March, April, May, everybody now, uh, June, July, August, uh, November, so, uh, September, uh, October, uh, Make sure like it's um, the same notation as well. Uh, you always want to be careful. Like if I did this October with the lower O, uh, it may not work. So you always want to be exactly the same. So never assume with 
computers. October, November. You'll notice it anyway. If you screw it up, with the, when the final output comes, you'll see that there's blanks and failures and all that. Okay, and then the next one is we've got to change this output. So January is 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, and then 10th, 11th, 12th. Okay, and then we're going to close it off. So else, no. All right, so if it's none of these months, then just don't write anything. And then end. Okay, and the calculation is valid, and we click OK. So now we have this new value, and just from the look of it, so it's green and it's below this gray line, tells me that it's a measure and it's continuous. Um, you can leave it there, it's absolutely fine, but just to keep things clean, I tend to move this up into dimensions. So you can just click and drag it upwards, or you can right click, go convert to dimension. And then the other thing is, uh, it's blue, which means it's a, it's a discrete, which is good. Um, and these ones we're going to switch to discrete as well. And the reason it's just for cleanliness and consistency doesn't really actually impact the calculation itself, but I just like to be consistent. Okay, it's just good practice. Okay, convert to discrete. Okay, um, what we're going to do is going to look at the data set now. So clicking this button right here. And let's have a look. So I've got clean month here. And what we do is we just pick a few samples. So whenever you're writing stuff, you always just take samples just to check. So 5th May, September 9, November 11. Okay, every, everything looks good to me. So we can kind of go ahead with the next step. So let's use that date function. I'm going to go create calculated field. And let's call this um, consolidated date. Okay, and I'm going to bring up that date here on the left. So here is the structure. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to type one out. So I'm going to go date bracket and let's do today's date, which is so you start with the year 2021. And actually, I won't put the quote in for the moment. Dash 04 dash 29. All right. And you're probably thinking, OK, cool. I should have that date. So remember that date. Actually, you know, what? we'll choose something simpler. First of 2021 there so you can remember it and we go OK. Now, if I look at the data set, just clicking that view data again, if you look here, you notice it's not first of the first 2021. Okay. And when I was testing this before, I was like, that's weird. So I went back, checked the formula, thinking I did something wrong. Right. And this is the wrong that I did. Okay. It needs to be in quotes. Okay. Because you're feeding a very specific structure into a function, into a formula. Now, if you don't put those quotations in, what, what happens is it thinks it's just um, arithmetic. 2021 minus one minus one. So you end up with the number 2019. And then if you give a numerical number like that to a computer, it converts it by, I can't remember exactly, but it takes, I think the first day of the year 1900 and adds that many days numerically, right? That's how the computers think. Okay, so you have to make sure you have it in quotation marks. Okay, and then you won't get an error. So we go, okay, look at that data again, and now it should be all right. So that's cool. That's if you wanna type one in just manually. But what we wanna do is we actually wanna construct one using pre-existing fields. So let's close this. And let's go back into this consolidated date, go edit. Okay, and here's what we're going to do. I'm going to keep this first one. I'm just going to make it a comment just so we can kind of see it. All right, so what we need to do is we need to feed those fields in. So let's let's try it. Let's go date. I'm going to go year. And then remember, we need a we need a dash in between. All right, so following the syntax month. Right. Uh, sorry, no. no oh, we need clean month, sorry. Dash day. And then we close the bracket and that should work, right? Okay, so calculation is valid. Fantastic. Let's click OK. So what we should find now is that this consolidated date equals this control date, if you will. Yeah, so let me bring out that date field again. We're just going to go step by step. Right, so once we consolidate this, it should be equal to whatever is in this field, right? Because that's, that's our control field. So let's have a look. View data. And once again, we have the same problem. So what is causing this? So you can see all 1905. It's not matching this. Something's going wrong. Let's go back into the formula. Edit. OK, 
Okay, so what's going on? Again, it's doing the same thing as before. It's actually applying arithmetic. So the year could be, you know, for example, 2021. Again, the month could be January, but it thinks it's just a number one. And the day could be one. So then it just performs the arithmetic, does that same issue that we have before, right? And then you end up with the wrong date. So what can you do? Do you just put quotations in here? Right? Calculation is valid. Let's have, let's have a go. Go OK. Let's go view data and an error. Okay, so again, a problem you can't do that. And that is because you are no longer referring to this as a field. It's just a string now, right? You've converted it from I'm referring to this to just a word. So what we actually have to do is we have to cons we have to combine numerical fields with strings. Okay, so the way we do it is get rid of this quotation. Um, first, we have to identify which ones are numeric, which ones are strings. The ones that are numeric are the fields. Okay, the ones that are strings are these dashes. So what we do is we have to put those in quotes, right? As a start. Okay, let's do that for the other one as well. Okay, to tell the computer that hey, this is a string. And then what we have to do is we have to concatenate, which basically means stitching things together side by side. And the symbol for that in Tableau is the plus symbol. Okay, so we're going join here, or join the dash to this one, and join it to this one. We do the same thing here. If you know your Excel, in Excel, the equivalent symbol is ampersand. Okay, that funny looking eight looking thing. Okay, so we have that. Okay, and you think, okay, it works, but then it goes, can't add integer and string values. Yes, that is correct. Everything needs to be a string. But then if this is a field, how do you make it a string still, right? So what you do is you have to use the, the string formula. So we go str. And what that does is it outputs whatever, it does whatever's in the bracket first, which means extract whatever's in field, then convert it. Okay, so it's, it's actually done in two steps. So we go string. Okay, we'll do it for the last one. String. And this kind of issue is, is relatively common in other programs as well. It's not just a Tableau thing. It's a lot of programs. Data types is just a, it's another ball game. Okay, let's go OK. Let's look at the data. <clears throat> okay, and then now you can see it's actually correct. All right, so you can take a few samples. Everything's all right. And that is it. Now, the reason you probably do want it in dates is because in Tableau, there's so many things you can do with dates in terms of, you know, comparing months, comparing years, doing time series analysis, heaps of things you need. That's why it's so important to be able to do this stuff. But that is it. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.